Hey guys, what time is it? That's right. It's fog time. Welcome back to Fog's World. So the the mob trap is just humming along. Humming along beautifully. Let's see what we got here. Boop. Not too bad. Given that I have not lit up all the surrounding areas, this is doing just fine. Thank you very much. And now what we need to do is do something with all those drops because I don't want to keep going out there and stand it on the X and plus I want to start collecting some of these and pulling them over here by hand that just isn't cutting it we got to do something with them so I've got chests for all the things that that thing might drop including the rarer ones and now what we need to do is we need to build ourselves a little bit of a sorting system and we need to build a way to get those things back here. So, let's get busy. I think we're going to start with a sorting system. Uh, where did my shovel go? I have a shovel. I thought I had a shovel. Do I not have a shovel? Here, shovel, shovel, shovel. I guess I don't have a shovel. I thought I had one. Oh, let me go, let me go get another one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 You may notice from the sounds in the background that there are villagers about. You may also notice that there are not as many of them as there used to be. <laughs> A baby zombie somehow spawned inside inside the town, and uh, it uh, ran a little ha ran a little bit of muck. Oh come on, where are the rest of my? I know I've got some. There we go. But I am running low. I am running very low. All right, well, that'll be enough for now. Doop, doop. I don't know why I keep closing that, but uh, I do. <laughs> shovel, shovel, shovel. I need a shovel. Uh, get some wood going. Actually, I got a whole thing full of sticks. I don't know why I'm not using those. And I could probably have gone and made a uh, gone and made a diamond shovel, but I'm not going to do that. So let's open up this area back here so that we can build, and uh, we're going to build a sorting system back here, of course. All right, so we need to start. We need to start with the hoppers. So where are my hoppers? Oh, they're, they're on my bar. Of course they are. Where else would they be? Okay. Oops, you know, I just realized that's a mistake. Sandstone, right over this, like that, and then we're going to do hoppers into the sandstone so that we can use these hoppers as the filters. And then above the above these guys, this is where, hi guy, this will be where the items flow through here. And we're going to put some sandstone behind here as well. And I... Th so that's what that's going to look like. Now, as a temporary measure, so until I can get those things loaded, I'm going to go ahead and remove this sandstone. It will be put back. But for now, I want it gone so that I can actually have access to this hopper back there. All right, so that's how the sorter is going to work, but we need to get the items into it. And that is what this next thing is all about. So let's go ahead. 
get some packed ice, I think. Let's see, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I was afraid of that. It's too long. It really is too long. It can't be. Can't be that long. Is there anything in here that I don't want? A lot of stuff I don't need, but is there anything I don't want? I guess I don't need it. Darn it! We're gonna have to go one longer. So we're gonna remove the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna move this one. And we're gonna move it to the end. All right, as you can see, I had to make a few minor changes. I had to put a gap here because I realized that the water wouldn't spread quite far enough, and I needed to continue it all the way across. That also gave me a chance to add this little wrap around here and this little item elevator at the end to deal with the runoff, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that later. But for now, this is the general look of what I want here. Uh, I'm going to fill in a lot of this, of course. I'll fill it in with glass and, and sandstone to complete it. But that's basically what it's going to look like. So uh, next we have to go in the back and actually wire this sucker up. So let's uh, get busy with that. Um, I think I think I want to go ahead and keep using sandstone for this. But uh, let's empty out a bunch of this junk because I'm carrying way too much stuff. So let's see, take some of you and convert you to sandstone. I'm gonna need an infinite pool to work with for a while. So let's go ahead and get that going. You and you. There we go. That's just temporary. Let's get some more sandstone. That'll do. I've got my bucket, I've got my shovel. I need some more raw materials here. I'm gonna need some sticky pistons, which I have. I'm gonna need some comparators. Where are all my comparators? Oh, they're right there. Okay, never mind. And I'm gonna need some redstone. And I think I put all my redstone in one of these chests. That's not gonna be enough. That's not going to be nearly enough redstone. Where did all my redstone go? Oh, we got you. Obviously I can create some more. Let's go ahead and do that. That may be enough. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a stacking item sorter. And the way this works is just like... Oh, that may interfere. Hmm, indeed. I may have to get a little creative here. All right, that should do it. Now we should be able to build this thing. Let's go back and do it. Should have enough room now. And I'm going to have to figure out how far back I need to go here. Um, you need to be here. You need to be here. So I'm not far enough back. I knew I wouldn't be. back here just to be safe huh? and you're going there right no that's not right got this wrong you go here you go there and there and there one, two, three. One, two, and three.
and we put a sticky piston here and we put a cauldron there and we fill it with water like that and that locks this and that can be capped like that just put those there for now those can't stay let me verify that this works. Come out here. We need to put something in here that isn't going to be sorted. Um, preferably something cheap. Uh, let's just do coal for now. And then we should be able to put this in there and it should start draining. And sure enough, it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, well, yes, that was my fault. <laughs> okay, so the sorter is working. But we're going to have a lot more work to do to get this thing done and get it all set up. So I'm going to have to open up the rest of this area, obviously. And... Uh, get enough room for us to build the rest of these sorters and then the rest of it's going to basically just be repeating what I built here all the way across so let me get that going and we will talk after I've got it built alright well the item sorter is now done I got some cleanup to do of course but everything is set to go I decided to use nether rack since I know that none of these mobs is ever going to drop nether rack. So that's what I'm using for the for the filler here. Um, now, these item sorters back here, let me give you a quick look again. Um, you've got a comparator into three blocks with redstone, into a piston, into a piston that pushes a full cauldron. The cauldron comes back into this comparator, block, comparator, block, and that's what locks this. Um, the comparator is detecting, of course, that the cauldron is full. Uh, when the piston extends, it pushes the, the cauldron below, which turns off this comparator, which lets items through. Now, this is a design that uh, JL Zipcode first uh, put on his website. Um, I'm not sure who invented it. Probably one of the zip crowd. Probably Panda. He tends to do those sorts of things. Uh, but I do really like it. It's nice and compact. And it's stackable. And as long as you don't have items that are going to combine with your filler item here, it's overflow protected. So um, that means that even when everything backs up, it's not going to cause everything around it to malfunction. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great design. Uh, it also causes very, very little lag because there are no lighting changes anywhere in here. So that's a great thing. We're going to go ahead and put our water back in there. Because the next thing that we need to do here... See, that should go all the way around. And it did. Good. And I... No, nope, that's okay. That's glass. That's all right. We can let that go. Uh, I'm going to toss an item in there. Uh, yeah, we'll toss the sandstone in there. I want to make sure that my item elevator is working properly. I have to actually get back in here. Come on. It's being difficult. There we go. There we go. Should come around the corner and go up the item elevator and it did okay so we're in business so we're ready to keep working here so the next thing that we need to do is we need to get this sucker put together Boom. Like this. we need to get this guy all put together so that we can uh, get the items to actually go in there because right now we don't have any way to get items in there and that's going to be the next task is figuring out how to get all the items in there 
And what we're going to do for that, I think, is we're going to go and build a transport system to pull those items into a water stream that will feed all of this. And that's what I will do next. So uh, I'm going to take a short break while I get some materials together, and then we will do that. And we're back. Progress has been made. As you can see, the mob grinder uh, has is spitting out mobs. And their drops are coming right down there, right through this grate right there. Let me show you what's underneath. This grate leads to an underwater channel. That underwater channel goes right through the ground all the way under the fence here. And it connects with an underwater channel that goes back in there and around the back and into an item elevator that takes it up to this level right here. Then those items come across the hoppers and get sorted out. Anything that isn't collected by the hoppers will turn around this corner here and go up that item elevator there eventually. There we go. Across the top, down through the grate, and back into a water channel that takes it back and just keeps cycling it around. So anything that isn't sorted for some reason will get cycled, will get recycled. So let's see if we can grab this sand here. Here it comes. Got it. And got a little bit of rotten flesh too, but whatever. So anyway, that's our item sorter. And that pretty much nearly finishes off finishes off the mob grinder. Now the only other thing that I want to do to this mob grinder before it's fully complete is I want to build a tower. And I'm not sure where I'm going to build it off of. Probably off the top of this building. Maybe off the top of that one. Actually, I might build it off the top of that one. Um, but what I want to do is I want to build a tower so that I can get roughly 128 blocks above that spot right there. And if I do that, then every area within 128 blocks of me that could possibly spawn a mob will be right inside there so that I can just hang there and really boost the production level of this thing. So I'm going to do that, and then we will talk. Well, hey, guys. This is it. This is our tower. Got a little bit of glass, a little bit of safety rail going on here, a little bit of glowstone. Gives us an awesome view of the mob grinder as we slowly climb down the ladder. I've been sitting up there for quite a while. It actually, yeah, I've, I've been probably sitting up there for about 10 or 15 minutes at least. Um, but uh, we've already collected quite a lot of stuff from this mob grinder. It's really moving well. Um, as you can see, there are a few things that occasionally don't get killed. We get the, the occasional zombie pig man on a chicken. Or not zombie pig, man. Baby zombie. We get the occasional baby zombie and a chicken. Occasionally, we get a mob that spawns with enchanted armor. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a lovely sight? I love that. It's so cool. Uh, we occasionally get something with enchanted armor that won't die from the fall. But, you know, that's okay. They can hang out there. Eventually, they'll either despawn or they'll fall, they'll fall down here. But it's not really a problem. I added a couple of blocks of water down here to act as a water drop. In case I decide I... In case I grow impatient with the ladder. But this is what it looks like down here now. Look at that. Now these have already completely filled up. All the common drops, we've already filled up the common drops. It's only the uncommon drops, these things, that have a ways to go before they're full. And that's because witches spawn so rarely. But, uh... All the regular common drops have already completely filled a chest. Hey, guy. <laughs> They're so cute. I also added this handy-dandy trash can here. Now, one cool thing that we can do with this is we can get kind of a sense for how many drops this thing is producing in five minutes because all the common drops are full, so they're just endlessly cycling around this thing. So let's go ahead and stand in here. And very soon, we'll collect all these drops. 
and that'll give us a rough indication of what kind of production we're doing. As you can see, it is quite a bit, because none of these drops here can possibly be older than five minutes, otherwise it would have already despawned. You can see we even get the occasional chicken egg. Alright, now I'm calling that pretty much good. I also added some glass here because occasionally things were spilling out the side. So let's take a look at what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about thirteen stacks and change. So, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. I'm going to take this gunpowder, actually. I don't need the rest of it, but the more gunpowder I can get, the better. It just means more TNT for me. Thank you. And that'll just take everything I put in the recycling bin and put it right into the water so that it can recirculate. And, uh, yeah, I am really, really happy with this. That thing produces like a beast, actually. When you get up at the top of that tower, it did not take long at all to fill up those chests. And while, uh, obviously, I'm now leaving drops on the ground, I'm letting drops despawn now, but honestly, I don't need more than a chest of those things. And they repopulate so quickly, I'm not worried about running out. So... All in all, I'd say this thing has been a huge, huge success. So as always, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. And please subscribe if you want to see more. We do this every week. And I will talk to you all again next time. Bye-bye, guys.